Hey guys, Brad Smith here, HealthLink. Just trying to sync up my screen sharing. Man, it is cold out. I'm sure everybody uh, watching right now across the U.S. or even Canada is freezing. Uh, I'm in St. Pete, St. Pete, Florida, and it's even freezing here. So I think 31 degrees this morning, which is crazy, right, for uh, the Tampa, Florida area. Let me pull up uh, notifications here. All right, so today we're going to be talking about YouTube, how to use YouTube to really grow your business, get more traffic um, either to your website or uh, to your business, right, from YouTube. And I'm going to show you some steps that I took to really grow my YouTube channel um, and really rank and be in Google uh, with my videos, which is really cool. So I uh, just wanted to say hi to everybody joining. Go ahead and say hi. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me all right. I'd appreciate that. Uh, this is only for HealthLink. Uh, users, so anyone in the health link group that's joining, um, you know, feel free afterwards. You can share this video, but I just made it, wanted to make it private for everybody that's been working with us or connected with us on health link. Just I really appreciate it. But I'm going to take basic steps here from the very beginning, um, just basic things to set up your YouTube channel. But then at the end, I'm going to show you some crazy things that really will explode uh, your business from uh, using YouTube. So hey, how's it going, everyone? Kind of have it uh, on my phone here just to see who's on with my screen sharing app. I, have to, I can't really see who's on, on on that, so I'll use my phone and my computer. Maybe I'll set it up here and that'll work good. Cool. Yeah, thanks for joining me. All right, so uh, let's just jump into it. I'll try to make this quick, fast, um, 10 to 15 minutes. We'll show you the basics. And I always say, you know, with your business, choose three things that are going to accelerate your growth. And this isn't paying for marketing I'm talking about. This is just quality content you're putting out there for yourself and for your business. So number one is Google, right? Google's number one. That's where the most traffic's gonna be coming into your site. Number two, YouTube. YouTube is the second most searched and found um, content on the internet. So Google's number one, YouTube's number two. And then number three is where everybody gets confused, uh, one social media. So, you know, it's, we're told to try everything, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snap, and then a lot of people think even YouTube is part of the social, when really, you want to go, Google is for the search, YouTube is also for the search to get people to your website or to learn more about you, and then one social media that you can get really good at and build your audience. So, uh, for Google, we do a ton of blogs, we post a lot of content out there that can help. That's getting searches in the Google search rankings. Number two is YouTube. We do weekly videos, which also go into Google search. And then number three, we do Facebook. We have the Facebook group uh, and then our Facebook pages. So I want to show you guys something really cool here. Um, this is one of our websites that we have, Find Fitness Pros, right? So talking about YouTube today, yeah, we show up in all these searches if you show type in our exact name, but we also want our videos to show up in the searches which is really cool, you know, that's what, that's the game changer. If your videos can show up in the searches, people are gonna watch them and they're gonna link back to your website. So another thing is images. We want our images to be there too. If you type in your business name, you want all of your images from your whole website right there in the images. So think about it for, as yourself, as a customer. When you go and search a business, you're searching either the images, the videos, or the search. So if you can show up on all three of those, you know, that's definitely a game changer. So let's show a little bit about this video. Um, we have thousands of views on it because, not because we posted it on YouTube and it just sat there, because we shared it the right way and now it's in Google search, right? That's how we're getting all those views. That's how the views keep going up, up and up and we're getting traffic. Now when somebody clicks on this, watches our video, we're gonna post links in here. So very beginning we have our website link at the very beginning so people can go back to the website now. Don't forget to post your links in the description, right? And then the reason that we're being found in the search is because we tagged it the right way. We put the right tags in here to show up for when people search for that name, now our video shows up. So if you guys think that's cool, if you already have videos, um, you didn't really know this yet, you know, say yes, I'd appreciate that. Just let me know you're here watching. Um, I see uh, David, Richard, Abby, Tammy, Sorry, looking down at my phone if nobody caught that. How's it going, everyone? Thanks for joining me today. So let's show, I wanna jump right into the tags, right? This is something that uh, is really important. Making sure this is set up on every video, and you can actually automate this, which is cool. 
So you wanna go into your dashboard. This is your main dashboard in YouTube, right? Uh, here's all your videos here. And we wanna go to channel. So you're gonna find channel on the left. And YouTube does change the way it looks a lot. So just look for channel. Always start at the video manager. You'll go to channel. And then the next thing you're gonna to go to, this will load, it's recognizing I have a ton of things on here. Uh, upload defaults, which you'll see right after you do channel. And this is where you can actually set these keywords up to automatically go in the video before you upload it. So the first thing I do is I have my website link here all the time, right? So you can post anything in here. Um, try, right? And you can put your website right in there. So don't forget to put this in. This is automatic. We want the links. This way you never forget. A lot of people forget. So just put it in here, have it set. Now you wanna tag your keywords, the things that you're gonna be talking about, whether it's weight loss, uh, workouts, chiropractic care, acupuncture. Put those in. Uh, these are auto already saved. Just make sure you guys put a comma after each one. All right, sometimes I'll do this in notes and just come copy and paste them in here, but that separates them. Uh, since I already saved them, they won't show up that way. So if you guys didn't know about this, this is definitely huge. This will help automate your video uploads in there. And I'll show you how it works right now. So I'll just upload one. And you'll see as soon as I upload, those will automatically be in there. And then as I'm doing this, I wanted to point out one thing to you guys. Make a folder with all your videos, put all your folders in it. When you go to upload your videos and if you can't find them, you're searching through your finder, that gets frustrating. Our whole goal is automating this, automate the process, put the tags in there, make a folder, have all your videos in here, right? So it's easy to find, that way you don't get frustrated trying to find everything. So check this out, isn't this awesome? I already have my link where I want people to go and I already have my tags. Now these are general tags, you can have your general tags and since this has to do with automation, I might just type automation in there. Enter, so now there's another tag. All right, cool, right? Automation, make it easy, make it simple. Another thing a lot of people forget to do, so we have the tags, automatic tags, right? the URL link for your website, so when people watch your video, they go back to your site. And then we wanna always click on the Google Plus and Twitter. These, This will share your video as soon as it goes public. So we want, Google likes it when you share things on their platform, right? Google Plus is their platform. Share your YouTube videos and your vlogs on their platform and they'll give you a thumbs up and put you in these search rankings, right? So we have the video, the links, the tags. Now Google knows what it's all about. We're sharing on Google Plus, we're sharing in Twitter. And now we wanna make it easy for people when they go to your video to watch more videos. So that's why we need to create a playlist, right? So when people go to your videos, think of it as yourself. You go to your favorite uh, person's YouTube video and you like one of their videos and you wanna watch more of them, you go to the playlist to see more of the same exact videos. If you just keep uploading, 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 nobody's gonna be able to find the videos that have and relate to other videos that you've made. So make playlists. Um, so for ours, as an example, we have business tips. Every video I upload into YouTube goes into business tips playlist. So when somebody watches my business tip number one, they can go to two, then they can go to three and go all the way through them, right? They don't have to go search and find them. So we wanna automate this whole process. Have the playlist set up, have the tags. Hey Skylar, Lauren, Tammy, thanks for joining me today, I appreciate it. Um, if you guys didn't notice, I have my phone down here so I can see who's on while I do the screen share. I'm just trying to automate everything, right? So now when you make sure these tags are in here, you're sharing on Google+, Plus, you're sharing on Twitter, now you're gonna be able to found it, be found in the search. <clears throat> Excuse me. So another thing I like to show is the videos, right? So if you tag these all right, you can start showing up even in all the videos. All right, I'm gonna show you guys a couple more. All right, so this is a gym we did in Auburn. We tagged it the right way. And they're showing up number one, their YouTube video is showing number one in Google. So we're not, you know, a lot of people forget about this. It's not all about showing up number one in YouTube. It's about your video showing up number one in Google, which is really cool that they're showing up. Now why they're showing up? We have the right zip code. We have the city. We have the zip code. We have the city and the tags. Cool, right? But uh, another thing we're doing is we're also putting those exact words in the description. 
So that's the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the description. And I'll show you a couple more here while I get some water. <clears throat> Zip code, city. First page of Google right here in videos. Now, hopefully, they're in the first page of videos here. So if you guys think that this is cool, oh, yeah, here they are, first page of videos in YouTube, too. So cool, right? So same thing. Make sure you're putting the keywords you want to be found in Google for in the title, in the description, and also in the tags, California, zip code, city. All right, that's awesome. And so the next thing we want to do, and I'll make sure I put a list in this video if you guys want to come back to it, uh, just so you can remember. Automatic tags, automatic sharing, playlists, uh, titles, and then be found in Google, right? So next we need to start sharing these in YouTube. Or in LinkedIn, I'm sorry. So we're going to go to the link. <clears throat> we see awesome, awesome results in LinkedIn sharing our videos. They'll show up right in the search in LinkedIn. So all you have to do, write an article, video, check out this video. And as soon as you hit put it in, it'll automatically generate for you. There's the video right in the news feed. Just so you, I mean, the very first one's Gary Vee doing his YouTube video in LinkedIn. So if that tells you anything, right, do it. Every time you post a video, share it in LinkedIn. People can easily go back to it. Now, one thing I like to mention, let's say they click this YouTube video. They go to your video on YouTube, right? They're only going to see the very first part of that description. Usually, they'll have to do show more to see the rest. We want that link back to your website right at the beginning. So in your video, give them a little tease, a little quick sentence, and then post that the rest of the URL or a link back to your website in there. That's the key, right? Getting people back to your website, building that relationship with them through video. And that is, you know, that's going to go a long way for you guys. So there's a lot of videos you can just upload. You do it wrong and you get five to 10 views. That's not going to do you any good. Make these best practices uh, for your business. Make sure you're putting the tags, description, the title, exactly what it has to do with. Make sure you're sharing it. Google Plus, Google loves you if you share YouTube on their own platform. LinkedIn, that way your video pops up right inside LinkedIn. And then focus on being consistent, right? That way you can build an audience. <clears throat> All right. If you guys have any questions, make sure you let me know. I'll show you, we'll do one more thing here. <clears throat> All right. So last thing. Well, two more things. The secret sauce is at the end. I'm going to show you guys something secret at the end, but one more thing before we get there. The layout and the look of your YouTube channel. I know I stress a lot about your videos being found in Google. Yes, that's one of the most important things. Have your video show up because you tagged it and you did everything right. But then when they do get back to your YouTube channel, make sure you have it all set up properly. Make sure you have a nice layout, a personalized picture, um, you know, who cares about a logo? You put your logo in there, nobody really cares about your logo. Make it personable. That's what videos are for in the first place, right? Build a relationship with your customers through video, but also make everything about your business personalized. Nobody wants to sign up with a logo. They want to sign up and they want to work with you. Make your YouTube channel personable just like you would when you shake somebody's hand. You're introducing yourself, telling them your name, they can see you. Now, make that go all the way over into your website and your YouTube videos. Now, the next thing you can do is you can actually customize which video you want to be the first one showing here. So, I want this video to be the first video any new customers that come to my site see. You can actually go in there and customize that. Next thing is I want them to see my website automation eight-part video series. So, you can tell YouTube, these are the, this is the playlist I want to show when somebody comes to my site. Make it easy for the people make, that are watching. Make it automated, and you're going to see fantastic results, right? So you're going to see uh, the play, they're going to see the playlist, whatever you want them to show. Now you can have different uploads, like you can have the most recent uploads here. You know, make it cool, make it interactive, make it so people want to watch, right? 
and, and that they want to come back. So I know when I, you know, we can always go to the most popular person out there, right? And see what their YouTube channel looks like. He always says, copy him, right? He has ads now, I guess. <laughs> Let's go here. Look, same thing, right? He knows that you want to watch his last video, so he's putting his last video up here. He's got a nice picture, picture of himself, and then same thing. He's got his playlist up. So if you guys need any help with this, make sure you let me know. I want to help. I'll help you guys with the layout here. Uh, show you how to make this custom. Even if you need help with anything else, I'll definitely help you guys. Now the last thing I want to show you is if you really want to be found in the search search engines with your videos make them go live so that's what actually changed our whole business and what really changed our videos the way that they show up is that we have all our top ranking videos have been live in youtube I'll show you what you can see most viewed now just like facebook live they rank videos higher when they're live right more people watch so this one right here i replayed live on youtube i used a software that took this video played it live like it was live and i'm up to 10 over 10,000 views on it now right same thing for this video played it back live all these videos we played live and we're getting thousands of views now over time that keeps building up but when you play this video live in youtube it will automatically go to the first page of google right away within a couple minutes it's already there they want you to work on their live just like facebook live like i said all these platforms want you to play it back live so we just use the software we replay these videos live and all of a sudden they're searched and found right inside of google in the search engines so i think this is awesome i think youtube can help your business out a lot um if you guys didn't watch from the very beginning at the beginning i mentioned one thing that's really stood out to me and i've been trying to really focus on Google number one, that's where everyone's coming from. Searches, if people wanna hire your business, they're going to Google to find your business. If that's what they're really interested in, right? You're not just showing them an ad while they're interacting with their friends on Facebook. They're in Google searching for your location or your business or whatever you offer. That's number one, that's what you need to focus on. Number two, the second most traffic is in YouTube, whether it's the YouTube videos in the search or the people are going into YouTube. So if you're consistent, and you set up your videos properly, you're gonna get traffic back to your website from using YouTube. And then number three, just use one social media, one social platform to build relationships and build that connection with people so they can get to know you. So we do Facebook for that. We put all our focus and our time in Facebook and our Facebook group and really try to interact and help people as much as we can. Focus on those three things and you will not be overwhelmed. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention, I'll just throw it in there. Um, if you guys do blogs on your website, always include that YouTube video right in your blogs, right? So that way you're just getting that more traffic. People can build a relationship with you on your website and they can keep interacting with you. So actually, this one I didn't even put the video in. Let me show you the, the ones that I do. So you can see what that looks like. This is one thing I try to show everybody. Same thing, I kind of structure it like I would YouTube, right? The picture there, but then I have my video. So people can watch the video, they can interact with me, build that relationship with me, and then if they're interested, they can finish reading the rest of the blog. So now you're giving somebody that likes to read an option, somebody likes to watch a video an option, but you're also increasing your YouTube links and your YouTube channel. So just think of it in those three ways. I hope this helped you guys out a lot. If you're just joining now, you know, thanks for joining, but you can go back and watch this and I'll write all the points and tips uh, right in the description so you can always go back to this video and reference it. And I'd really appreciate it if you guys shared it too. If you think this helped or you know anybody that needs a YouTube, YouTube channel or needs help with it, um, just share this with them, I'd really appreciate it. And if you guys need help, schedule a call with me, I'll help you out. We'll set up your, your YouTube channel so you see some awesome results. So I hope everyone has a great day. Stay warm, I know it's freezing uh, most places across the, the world, right? So stay warm and I'll